Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, I will try to make it a short video and uh, I hope people from Indonesia they will take the video and share it with their mullahs. You know, like uh, I, I was looking at the news and then I saw uh, a news speaking about a guy, his name uh, Sheikh Rizk. Uh, okay. And then I don't know who is this guy, Sheikh Rizk, so I did search. And they were saying that he was arrested for corona viol viol violation. Corona violation? I mean, you arrest Muslims uh, cleric for corona violation? Not for the hate speech, killing, etc. No, a corona violation? Are you sure? <laughs> so I just put his name in the, uh, in the uh, internet, based be upon uh, her, and I found that Mr. Uh, corona violation he had bigger violation he ran away to Saudi Arabia because he is a porn star and you know like uh, he ran to, uh, to Saudi Arabia it says here this is what the website is saying I have nothing to do with it you know I don't know the person it says he left Indonesia in 2017 after uh, facing uh, charges of pornography is you know he liked to watch children pornography yeah I mean it's it's a hobby it's a hobby what you can do uh, and this remind me of other hobbier uh, a guy who uh, he's a youtuber you know they ask him why you don't debate Christian Prince why you don't refute him he said this guy he finished he's finished uh, what his name Mimi Hijab he finished him and how Mimi Hijab finished me uh, because I said to a Muslim woman, suckle me, I was quoting her prophet, and she was speaking filthy about Jesus. Uh, you remember him? Uh, suckle me. Yeah, he said, uh, um. <laughs> and later we find that he is a person who go for children too, and he is sick like he's a prophet. But this video is not about people, you know. It's about questions. There's bad people everywhere. You know, we hear from time to time, there's a priest, he's a child molester. Eh, he's like Muhammad. You know, from their fruits, you shall know them. But we knew that Muhammad, he have a thing for children, and he is a sick person. And the, the Muslim, they try to defend their prophet. They say, oh, Aisha, she was, you know, she was mature when the prophet, he slept with her. And actually, Aisha, even at the age of 14, uh, according to the reference in front of us, uh, she was not yet re reaching the age of uh, menstruation. And she was playing with her dolls even in the time of Khaybar. Um, so, you know, all the lies they say to us, it's got busted in the front of us. But the question today is not about this. You see, I mean, those people are really sick and they go after children who they are girls, right? But what about going after boys? You know, again, somebody will say, well, there we here, there's a priest here, a priest there. Well, this is happening, and there's evil people everywhere. But there's a huge difference between somebody he do what his God said, and somebody he do against what his God said. So, if I am, you know, the Bible says, be aware of false teachers who come to you in a clothes of sheep, but they are wolves. So the Bible wars warn us about those fraud people, regardless of their religion. You know, they can be priests, they can be sheikh, but how you can be a prophet yet you are a child molester? That is a good question. How you can be a God, yet you promise little boys in the heaven, and those boys in the heaven, they are described in a very, very, you know, I don't know what to say. Uh, let us read the translation. This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. I have nothing to do with it, as you see. And actually, we can switch to the Indonesian translation, which I do not know. Uh, but, you know, my Indonesian language is very good, you know. Uh, so it says here that those are young male and they are very, very, very good looking. And the, by the way, the translation here is very funny. I mean, it's really stupid. Uh, very well guarded. Mm -hmm. well, 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 you know. As per well guarded. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, why the children who they are boys, who they are supposedly serving, doesn't say, by the way, it's there. It doesn't say in the verse anything about serving, you know. It says, you know, and, and and those boys will go around them. They will go around them and 
where it says they will, you know, they are servant, doesn't say that. However, we can see in different verse where it says the following. Chapter 76, verse number 19. It described them uh, as youth, and they will be around you. And the purpose of those is to make life fun for you. And those boys, they are so good looking as a sacred pearls, you know, like when you throw pearls under the light. And this is how they are. I mean, why the Quran concentrating too much about the look of those boys? You know, the Muslim, they say to us, all those are servant and don't do you like to have ugly servants? But the question is, why the Quran replace servants from girls to boys? I mean, which one is better for you as long as you are caring for the looking? Which one is better to serve you? A female slave or a little boy? He looked like pearls, so white. Isn't this a question? So as long as those guys are expert with porn and pornography when it's come to children's, like Sheikh Zakir, uh, as Razik, Sheikh Razik, you know, peace be upon him, is a good guy. Can Sheikh Razik explain to us why Allah here replace a female servant by a boy servant? And if the Muslim they say that the servant should be good looking, why the good looking have to be a good looking for a boy? I mean, is it good looking for you to see a boy serving you? You see, I'm just telling you what Muslim they say. Don't you want to have a good looking servant? Okay, why he is a boy? Why is it a man? I mean, who can serve you better? A boy, he need a boy, he needs somebody to serve him. The boy himself, he need, uh, he need a mommy, he need, he need, he need a daddy, he need a, he need a nanny. How a boy he can serve you? So obviously, this is not about boy. Otherwise, the look will not be very important. So the God of Islam, and we challenge uh, Razik, who is facing facing charges of uh, pornography with the children, and the other guy who is, uh, you know, the the guy with, uh, who looked like a beast. Uh, to tell us and all the Muslims, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, why those boys are really different, you know. If you remember once I asked a Muhammadan, the Muslim they believe that everything is forbidden in earth is not forbidden in heaven. Everything is forbidden. By the way, watch your language, otherwise we will block you or I will disable the chat. You know what? Let me disable the chat for for the benefit. Because I know people will abuse the chat that's better you like to stay you can stay you like to leave you can leave um, so those boys who will be in the heaven are the Muslims forbidden from having sex with them I will make you hear the answer from Muslims you know once always actually Muslims they call me and supposedly want to prove me wrong so we have Muslims who called us before, and as long as I don't have a Muslim now to explain to you, what about we hear what Muslim they said to us previously uh, about heaven of Allah? Let us see what they say. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In the heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yeah. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can. You are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father. You will have. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nothing sin in heaven. Yes. Nothing sin in heaven. Yes. You can have sex with your daughter. Yes. You can have sex with your mother. Yes. You can have sex with a goat. Yes. For nothing sin in heaven. Understanding the mentality of Muslims about nothing is sin in heaven. The goat, it's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yeah. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, I I want you to listen to this conversation and you tell me what you think. Well, I'm not trying to listen carefully. Huh? 
Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In the heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yeah. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. <laughs> anything. Anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So <laughs> he and his father, they can have sex with his mother. It's fine. Everything, everything is fine in heaven. <laughs> everything is fine. <laughs> and that's what they, they believe. There is tons of fatwas saying that what is forbidden in earth is not forbidden in heaven. And actually, Muhammad, he gave many examples. As an example, if you wear silk in earth, you don't wear it in heaven. If you drink wine in earth, you don't drink it in heaven. If you have uh, sex in, with the children in the earth, same will happen in heaven. You should have it in heaven. All, all those things, you should wait until you go to heaven. So heaven of Islam is a heaven of lust. Anything you could not do in earth, you will have it in heaven. From drinking, sexuality, little boys, having sex with men. You know, if you remember that there's a hadith where it says, that in the heaven there is a market uh, and this market there's no buying or selling except pictures no buying or selling except pictures but what you would do with those pictures pictures of who pictures of men and women so we know that Muslim they say it's forbidden for a Muslim to have sex with men in earth what about in heaven we heard the Muslim saying a second ago from their mouth that there is nothing it's called forbidden in heaven of Allah everything is lawful here Muhammad he is confirming that in the paradise there is a heaven and in, in the paradise there's a market of pictures and those pictures, you go to the market, you know, you can buy and sell there. This is the only market is open in the heaven of Islam because everything else is for free. But what is in the heaven of Allah there? Uh, there is pictures of men and women. And if you desire a picture, you go inside it and you have sex with it. But remember, the customers are men. The customers are men. And those who they are going to sleep with them, are men and women so you know uh, to make it simple to explain it actually we can use the same one let us do this it's all right this one is simple there's other hadith you know but they are long the Muslim, they will say to you, this is da'if. Anything is embarrassing, they will say to you, da'if. Quran is da'if to Quran, saying, uh, you know, uh, the same issues. Indeed, in the paradise, there is a market which no man, uh, sorry, no buying nor selling except images of men and women. So whenever a man desire the image, so who is the one who desire? The man. Who is the customer? He's a man. There's not a woman, her name is Fatima or Aisha, no. All the customers are men. The images are images of men and women. So the man he chose which image he liked to have sex with. Image of a man, image of a woman. Hold on. So now we have, we have in the Quran a confirmed hadith, a confirmed story. The Quran is a hadith, by the way. The Quran itself says the best of the hadith is the Quran. So. The, uh, we, we will have versions to have sex with them and you have boys who are around you to do what? to complete the joy what the joy is if the Muslim they will say they are going to serve us then we need to ask how come in the world anyone can believe that little boys can serve anyone they need somebody to serve them Muhammad he said in different hadith that you will have 80,000 of them what 80,000 little boy who they are sickered like pearls can do to you? I will leave the question for Sheikh Razik and those Muslims who they claim they can answer. And for sure they will say to us anything we say, uh, anything embarrassing, they will say, oh, this is Da'if. 
Well, the only da'if I see is Islam because Islam is based on the Hadith and based on uh, uh, the Quran. So if you say to me, this is this is da'if and that is da'if, so what is right in Islam? Nothing, right? Uh, when a Muslim, he come to us with the story of da'if. Is this one is da'if? No, but they deny it too. This is Sahih Bukhari. Is the Quran is da'if? They deny the meaning too. You see, when the Quran says that they are like pearls and they are like sacred pearls what I mean okay what about you say they are boys why we need to describe how they look like and why they are so white and why we mention them when we are talking about drinking wine mixed with ginger what does this have to do with this simply that will complete the party You will notice that they will be drinking before the boys show up. Later, the boys coming around them. So after they get a drunk, the Muslim they will say to you, "Well, the Quran says they will not uh, uh, get a drunk." But the Quran doesn't say really they will not get drunk. It says uh, they will not bleed, and we do not know the bleed goes back to the one who they are drinking or to the boys. La yanzifu. So. When, when the Quran speak about those things and we notice how the image of Islam or the heaven of Islam is completed with boys, not without boys, and how those boys are so good looking, not normal boys, and why those boys are so white. And then if we understand that the Muslim believe that there is no sin in heaven, as we heard the Muslim saying, and if we understand that the Muslim believe that the best of a beauty for Islam is someone she is white or someone he is white, this is why Muhammad is white, and Allah will make everyone who enter heaven of Allah is white. If you remember, uh, the Quran says clearly that when the day of resurrection come and the day of judgment come, uh, Allah will make all the kuffar, including me, black. Finally, I will be black. That's my wish. So in that day, everybody who will go to heaven and those who they are created inside heaven, like the boys and the women, or even the women who they are imported from the hell because they are prostitute, everybody have to be white. And those who they are bad, Allah will turn them into black color because Allah is a racist God. So here you notice that the boys who they are so white, it's made for a pleasure. And you need to tell me, and you need to ask yourself, if those are not sexual pleasure, what kind of a pleasure it is will make you happy? Why they have to be so white and that supposedly like pearls and that will bring a pleasure to you? What kind of a pleasure this pleasure is? Those who they are kuffar, they will be blackened and those who they are Muslimin, they are going to be white. As simple as that. In different story in chapter 27 verse number 82, if you go and read, you can read Ibn Kathir, you will see there's a beast, it's called a Jassasa, will come and have the stick of Moses, and the ring of Solomon will hit you in your face and will make you black if you are a Kafir, and will make you white if you are a Muslim. And if you remember that Muhammad, he mentioned in different place, that uh, in the heaven uh, of Allah, uh, Allah will give you women who their their private part uh, he will give you a private part which will never go limp so he will give you special ability for sexual desire Muhammad he will get the power of 4,000 men the Muslim man he will get the power of 40 so you will see here that the God of Islam he prepared for you the sex party the women is there, the boys is there, pictures of men and women, and we are showing you reference. And now he is showing it to you that in the heaven, Allah will give you this and that. And the top of that, you will have a penis which would never go limp or sleep. So you are a sex machine, for you are going to a sex party, for you are worshiping the sex God, for this is a sexual religion. So as long you Muslim believe in a God of morality, and this is my question, which your sheikh cannot answer. Why your religion, all of it is about sex? Why we hear you Muslims saying that there's no sin in heaven, including having sex with your mother or your daughter or even with the goat? How that can be heaven? 
and what kind of heaven this heaven is. Everything is about sex, from the beginning to the end. Your God is a sex God. So don't come to us and speak about morality when you have zero of it. Carefully. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In the heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yeah. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. <laughs> anything. Anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome. You and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I, sin I'm just is, trying to understand, my friend. You see, sin. I'm not. So, what do you think, Abdul? <laughs> Your Muslims, all of them believe that in the heaven. So, guys, this is what Islam is about. You know, Islam is a big balloon. Speak too much about morality, but it is zero morality. They are zero morality. And their religion in earth is about sex too. This is why a man, he will marry as many as he wish for at the time, but as many as he want. None, no limit. And he can have sex with million women if they are his slaves. So when they speak about morality, we find that their religion is religion of 100% sexual religion. The black stone was a vagina. Muslims, they used to go around the Kaaba and supposedly they are, uh, uh, they used to be pagan but this is in the time of Muhammad. People, they were going naked around the Kaaba. Uh, as we see in this hadith. Totally naked, wearing nothing. And that is telling us that Islam before Islam was sexual. Because Islam simply is just a continue of the previous Islam. You see, the previous Islam, they worship Allah too. Muhammad, he tried to, to, to learn from the Christians and say and the Jews okay we worship one God forget about the, the, the daughters of Allah and the daughter uh, he Allah don't have three daughters come on and Muhammad was complaining that Allah have uh, three daughters not didn't have a son uh, this is why he said this is uh, an unjust uh, division but here you notice that Muhammad is coming from background of a sexual religion it's called Islam and Muhammad continue with sexual religion it's called Islam Islam is exist before Muhammad Islam is not something new that's why the Muslim they say to you, Islam started with Abraham. But all of us, we knew that this is a f false uh, fiction. Abraham never been there. I have nothing to do with the Kaaba. And it doesn't make sense that Abraham, he went there, he built it, and he leave. <laughs> I mean, well, so you build the house of Allah and you leave, what for? So uh, uh, they all have tons of fiction stories. But as you see in the front of us, this is a docu document preserved by Muslims, translated by Muslims, published by Muslims. That people go totally naked around the Kaaba, wearing nothing, women and men. If you have my book, Six and Allah, you will see Muhammad, he saw a woman and she, she was naked going around the Kaaba and she was singing a song about showing her private part, but now it's not available because now she is supposedly doing Allah ritual. Allah ritual is before Islam is to go around the Kaaba naked. Allah ritual after Islam still going around the Kaaba naked. Muhammad, he waited until he is almost dying, and then he decided to say, okay, guys, don't do it no more. And actually, <laughs> many, 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 they say, it's not even him who forbid it, you know? So, uh, the sexual religion is nothing but a continue sex journey, fantasy, who they, for the one who looking for fancy, uh, 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 sick minded, uh, 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 no limitation, sex with boys, sex with little girls, sex with your mother, sex with your daughter, sex with everybody, sex with men, as we showed you the reference. And then we find that people they say to us, Islam is a moral religion. But in the same time, we find in heaven that the wine which is forbidden here is there, the women is forbidden here is there, the little girls are forbidden here. Actually, the little girls are not forbidden here. Muhammad, the married girls, they are you know little tiny ones. Uh, even he 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 wish uh, to to have a to have a, a child. She is not even an infant. And he said, if she became older, I would have her. So, Muhammad make it clear. 
that what is forbidden now there is something you desire now I did you I gave you a lot of opportunity but there is things are the, are not the and not like you, you cannot do it now Muhammad he got sick he was dying he can't drink wine no more he used to drink five four four days a week the Muslims they used to be drunk all the time even there's a verse in the Quran saying don't don't pray when you are drunk why because people they start making fun of the Muslims for they are drunk when they are praying and the Muslim they say to you Muhammad he forbid it step by step because he could not forbid them right away for they are a drunk nation but you will notice he did not forbid it here he just said don't come to the drinking when you are drunk <laughs> don't come to the prayer when you are drunk so we are talking about a messed up society and the messed up society in Muhammad in order to make them disciplined for him so they cannot go for war and they are drunk nation he want warriors he don't want people to go drunk so you want to go for war for me I can't drink no more I'm sick I'm dying so stop drinking what I forbid you to do here I will give it to you there you want wine you love wine don't you no problem the one who stopped drinking here he will drink it in heaven anything I forbid you from doing it here you will do it in heaven so let us make it clear the heaven of Allah is the free zone of sex and desire how that can be from God thank you very much for listening download the video share it with your friend and give it to your Sheikh Abdul who don't dare to debate me and they are busy watching porn of children's as usual God bless you thank you very much and this is your brother Christian Prince sharing some little time with you people of Indonesia God bless you all and if you're Indonesian Muslim don't forget to download my videos my, my 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 books for free made for you in your language in your language as a gift from me to you Muslim Indonesian and Christian Indonesian because we love you we don't hate you we don't teach hate and we encourage all the Christian Indonesia to love the Muslims in Indonesia for you are one nation and Islam divide you but the Lord will make us God is willing will make us united again thank you God bless you and see you again soon take care